you gotta show the world your talent it's time to show the world what you got it's time to go into the high school hallways and cipher every lunch break and earn that respect you know what i'm saying <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Renee for those of you that are new here thank you so much for watching thanks so much for tuning in but yes so I decided to just pick up my camera and start filming something let's see I have a couple of things on my mind and I think this video is going to be for the people who maybe like you really like music right like you really like music you think you can do it you start doing it you're like oh man i love this oh let me start taking myself seriously and become a musician wonder what that's like keep watching okay so a little bit of background about me i only ever i only really have my own experience to compare this to so like forgive me if i sound a little bit biased but i believe that the first thing that started me doing music was like really just enjoying music, enjoying other artists, um, enjoying singing, enjoying like the piano and stuff. I learned piano when I was younger, but I don't really know how to play it like that anymore. But um, anyways, my point is that I had a really deep appreciation and love for music, so it came from a good place, right? I would say that the first thing you want to do when if you want to really start to take yourself seriously and like try and um, work towards a career in music is to make sure that you love it um, because that's what's going to like keep you there and keep you consistent because it is work even if you love it it still is work at the end of the day um, so make sure that you really 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 like music and you really have like a good reason for wanting to do it you are super passionate about it it's like your life you know like you love doing music you like being artistic um, for me you can like whatever you you want if you're more into the production if you're more into like the singing or like the performance aspect um, me I'm really into the writing so like I love writing writing is my number one thing that I love before everything probably even before music because um, I think that like reading was my first real like interest that like shaped me as a person so writing is like very closely related to that so what made me really want to pursue music is that i really liked writing and i i liked the um poetry that lyrics can be be sometimes so i started doing music because one i love music and two i'm just very passionate about it so i would say that make sure to like doing music a lot um make sure it comes from a good place like you're not just trying to be a singer because you want to be famous or you like the appearance of somebody who is a singer and you like like the lifestyle they represent blah 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 could go on forever basically just make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons because that's what's going to keep you there all right next you're thinking about being a musician huh well all right so you realize this, it's what you want to do right you want to be a musician, period. You want to be a singer, you want to be a rapper. All right, next. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, right? So, uh, step number two is to get yourself out there. Make a song or two. Um, you can do a project a little bit later on, but at least, like, make a couple songs. Like, when I first started doing music, I was recording off of the SoundCloud thing, like, the voice memos, and I would, like, play piano in my little, you know, 13 year old room doo -doo 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 -doo, and just literally sing to myself like that's what I did for fun and I would sing it in the voice memo and even if it sounded like whatever it wasn't the best quality I knew nothing about mixing and mastering at this time it was straight up just like a voice memo that I was publishing on SoundCloud but um, that's how I really started like learning how to make songs how to like write them and that's also how I learned what people like and what people don't like so it kind of like helped me kind of shape my sound and also the more that i shared my music and the more that you know people <laughs> Woo, look at my bun oh my gosh um what was i saying the more that i showed people and like the more that um it wasn't always positive don't get me wrong but positive reinforcement kinds of builds confidence so when I heard people like liking my music and stuff, it kind of gave me a feeling of like, oh, I could do this, like, you know what I mean? So you have to show the world your talent. You have to show people what you got. You got to kind of, even if you're like me, uh, even if, hold on, my hair is pissing me off. I don't know how to wear it anymore, honestly, like, whatever. So, like I was saying before, my hair rudely got in my way. 
even if you're like me right and um i'm definitely more of an introvert i'm a shy person like i don't even like going to parties like that really but i'm sure like i maybe it look like sometimes i party and i like to go out i don't like i like staying home and i have anxiety sometimes so period but um you have to be comfortable with putting yourself you know in front of a crowd to perform a song like your song not just any song your song you're not doing no sing-along like you're literally singing your own song so you gotta have some kind of like you know confidence with that so um i would say just start like making no matter what your um resources are say you don't have that much to put toward your craft i would say just start and do it like even with youtube i um i'm kind of like ranting let me like get more organized whatever even i just got on camera and started talking i didn't like plan this out so forgive me if i sound a little bit scatterbrained but um yeah i forgot what i was gonna say i would say oh even if your resources are not as cool or as like suffice as you think that they need to be you should just start with where you are because it's better than doing nothing and letting the time go by because I, every day you're either working toward what you want or you're not and there's no really in between so yeah just start with what whatever you got if you have only your voice memos on your iphone start with the voice memos on your iphone if you're lucky enough to have access to a studio or you know somebody who has studio equipment you know get yourself in their door <laughs> like do what you have to do um of course you can always buy studio time too so yeah just start in the process of you know writing a song liking it enough to record it and then releasing it just do that a couple of times and that gets your feet wet all right step number three of what it's like to be a musician or i'm not sure what i'm calling this yet the title will be clearly down below but step number three if you're really thinking about being a, magi a magician a musician tip number three or just some insight for you if you're looking to be a musician Especially in a city like New York where there's a million other people to analyze and admire and just I guess I'm going to use the word admire because there are a lot a lot a lot of talented artists um, especially in big cities um, of course everywhere else but like I said I can only speak from my own experience so in New York there is so 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 many people who are like talented and um they may do more than one thing they might not only do music they might also be a model they might also do this so what i'm trying to get at is to not compare yourself to anybody else or any other musician especially or even artists if they're doing something different from you and you're just like kind of asking yourself why can they do that and i don't have that or like why do they have this big of a platform and my platform is like mm like don't get yourself into that toxic like headspace because um you're just not supposed to compare yourself to other people i'm sure that you've heard that um in regards to other things it's, it's honestly like never really a good idea so i would just you know five out of ten would not recommend um just remember why you got started right you believe that you have talent you believe that you can do it you believe that you're unique so stick to that and don't let anybody else's shine stop yours don't be a hater because you will definitely block your own blessings and that's a fact all right, so you want to be a musician, huh? Four. There's money involved. Don't be ignorant. Don't think that your talent and your passion and your creativity is going to get you to where you got to go alone. Like, don't be surprised if there's a little bit of self-investment that has to go on. You might need to spend money, especially if you're trying to do it what I believe to be the better way for myself it might not be this way for most people, but especially if you're trying to be an independent artist, no label, you want to do it all yourself to like manage your career that way, then definitely be prepared to have what is called in better terms a budget you need a budget to do things you need a budget to say do a music video okay, my camera died well my memory card ran out it didn't die but I feel like that's a sign for me to kind of get on with it so what was I saying um so yeah be ready to have a budget be ready to spend on things like music videos studio time um you might even want to like freshen up your wardrobe you know what I mean because you got to go to some events to, like network with people you know everything's kind of an investment these are just some examples but what I'm trying to say is don't be surprised when there's a couple of things that you need to pay for and if you really believe in yourself and you're serious about doing music and getting to where you want to be then don't be afraid to invest in yourself um, at the end of the day, I feel like it's never going to be really a regret 
because um, you're bettering yourself and if you weren't going to spend it that way you probably would have spent it on something else is that a toxic financial thing to say I don't know don't I, it's a free space right I can say what I want but yeah just be prepared to spend money here and there all right and then the last tip that I'll leave you guys who are looking to be musicians or just wondering what it, the experience is like especially in a city like New York gritty ass city um it's not always the most important thing to be liked by everybody especially if you're a girl don't um let go even as a man don't let go of like your self-respect and stuff um just remember who you are um and don't prioritize being liked by everybody and let that confuse you and kind of like diminish your mental health because it is very impossible to make everybody happy um you know we are i'm probably somewhat of a people pleaser on some level and you cannot live that way let alone be in an industry like music and think that everybody needs to like you or bleh, like you know or your self-esteem is like very very affected by that like you are going to have to grow a tougher skin and you know just know who you are be confident about who you are work on the art stay out of people's business don't be messy stay cute you know what i mean try to like diversify the bag and you're gonna be all right um if you like this video it was pretty random you know but it was on my mind today um i've been doing music for a couple of years all my music is down below i just you know i like talking about this channel um is about things that interest me and what more to interest me than music and why not come on here and just talk my shit about it talk my shit about it i'm gonna keep talking my shit about it and um yes please subscribe like leave a comment if you are an artist leave your music down below you know let's just do the damn thing thank you so much for watching um yes yeah, stay blessed and subscribe to my channel don't forget please